In this video, we will explain how to connect the FridgeTag 2 to a computer, download a report, save the report to a file, and how to read the information on the report. Every FridgeTag 2 device has an attached USB cable. You can connect it to a USB port directly on your computer. We will go to the Start menu and click on Computer. We can then see the Fridge Tag 2 icon and device. Double click on that and we see the PDF report. Double click on that to open the report. We'll now zoom in. At the very top we have the serial number of the device, the date and time the report is downloaded, as well as the alarm settings for the data logger. On the very left we have the date beginning with today and going backwards 60 days. We have the events column which displays AM when the technician presses the read button to see the high and low temperatures before noon and PM when the technician presses the read button to see the high and low temperatures after 12 noon. Ideally every day the office is open should show an AM and a PM in the events column. Also you may see the letter T when the date or time are changed in the fridge tag device. To the right we see the average temperature each day, the status, is it okay or in alarm mode, the low temperature each day. If there was an alarm it would show the duration here in this low temperature section and there isn't. Then the upper alarm for each day is displayed, 6.9 high temperature today and we can see as our eye scans down that three days ago, four days ago there was an alarm because the okay status changed to alarm. And as we look, the high temperature was 12 degrees Celsius on that day, 4 degrees above 8. It was out of range for 18 hours and 10 minutes, and it was triggered at midnight. Lastly, because we have an alarm, we have an extra piece of information called the alarm ambient temperature, which is 25.7 degrees Celsius on that day at the moment the alarm occurs. And this data is for root cause analysis to see if the temperature in the room perhaps is too high or too low causing the storage unit to struggle to maintain temperatures. Lastly, on the right we see external sensor connection error column which displays OK. If the device is disconnected from the external sensor it begins to count how long it is disconnected and if it is disconnected for more than 10 minutes, there will be an alarm in this column. As you can see, when we ran the report today, it was disconnected for one minute. We are done saving the report and reading the report at this point. We can close it. And we can disconnect the fridge tag product. On this computer, we hit this small arrow and click on Remove Hardware Safely. We check the fridge tag and now it's ready for removal and return it to the storage unit. We should tuck the USB cable back into the data logger. We are ready to take it to the storage unit and connect the external probe back into the data logger be sure to hear it click when you do that and attach it to the storage unit using the Velcro strips.